Okay, guys, before you pass out, um, <laughs> this is what we're doing today. I'm waiting for H Sense Craft Day to kick off later in the evening, obviously. It's just still morning, the 19th or whatever. What day is it? I don't know. Morning of the 18th. Tomorrow's the 19th and the 20th, yeah. And, um, I just need to make more space. As you can see, there's things piled up, and I don't like having things on my floor <laughs> anymore. I used to always do that. I don't really care. Things are just piled around here and there, but um, I just need to get these boxes down. So basically what you're looking at, these three here are a bunch of close to my heart things from when I used to sell it. So I needed to have all the things to show, right? And now um, I need to use up my papers. I will never give away or sell my uh, stamps because those are, you know, kind of limited time only type things that I keep. But um, I really need to go through them and get them out of here. So what I'm going to do is put them in different tubs. And these things here, I'm going to fill up with things that I use now. I'm going to start with this row. I have lots of rows to do. Uh, this isn't all close to my heart. This is other things like punches from We Are Memory Keepers type things. A uh, bunch of Sizzix dies, the Bigs dies. They used to be called something else. This is like the original Sizzix kind of dies. There's just a bunch of random stuff in here. I think there's mostly magazines, though. And then if you guys remember, I kind of cleaned this area up to have this behind me whenever Crafters Companion invited me to do their little show one of the Saturdays. And so it looked nice, but now it's looking bad. So I need to go through all this stuff. This is really going to open up a lot for me, though. So I need to do that and the bottom row. The bottom row is just, just stuff I haven't even looked at. I know it's tubs and tubs of pictures, so I can't really get rid of those things. But, oh yeah, there's another one that's just full of... Um, close to my heart paper so that'll be good I can probably clear out three milk crates right now okay so the reason I do videos like this is because you guys like to see my craft room um and also just to show you some of this fun stuff as I go through it people seem to like those hi I'm not wearing any makeup today I could put this a little bit higher I guess so that way y'all can see me a little bit I don't know what are, we, what are we looking at some diamond press stuff back here that I need to go through um oh still no head hold on do 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 Hi. <laughs> Every once in a while, I'll dip down here. I'm literally just waiting for Diamond Press to drop the video. Uh, drop the video. Let's go, people. For, um, not drop the video, to drop the uh, interactive wheel set so I can put my video up. And still not hitting. All right. I just pulled this drawer out, not even giving it a second thought, and or this milk crate. And guess what, guys? On the very top, I can see something that I've been looking for, if you guys <laughs> remember. Um... It's all the Anna Griffin uh, mink stuff. So I can use the mink because I told you guys I was going to do a bust it out, but I couldn't find the little carbon papers, all this stuff. So here it is, and I'm super happy to have it. I'm trying to see what else is behind me because to be honest, in this big pink thing here is um, stuff that's coming up for a review. And since I don't own these companies, it's not my business to show it. <laughs> so I'm like, what is going on here? I think we're okay. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to go through bit by bit. I am going to readjust this. I don't know why I put my feet. You know what? Let's back this up maybe a little bit. That way you see a little more of me, kind of. I don't think that's the important part. I want you guys to focus on this. So you know what? We'll just readjust and go back to this. <laughs> um, because I know you guys like to see this. And then I'm just going to put stuff in this box. This box is not what I'm going to keep these things in because I don't like keeping paper in the garage because, you know, the humidity and stuff like that. Like, we want to keep our paper good. So if there's ever papers that I think I'm probably going to sell later for D-Stash, I don't keep my papers in the garage, period. These guys, I'm never going to sell. I'm never going to get rid of. These are mine, so I'm taking responsibility that if they get some moisture, hopefully they don't. They're not going to stay in this box, like I said. I'm going to put them in a big plastic bin, but I need to buy one, and I don't want to go to the store right now to go buy one because all my plastic bins are filled up. So let's see what we have. Oh, my gosh. Gorgeous paper. I'm not going to go through each and every one, but this is the flirty paper pack. I know that's dark, isn't it? I'm sorry. I mean, I'm just sitting here on the floor in my craft room. Um, so what I think I'll do right now, I'm just taking them out. I do need this cardstock though. Like this bla just basic cardstock, I will put with my other cardstock. The cardstock I use like every day or all the time. Look at this. Oh, I love colonial white cardstock from Close to My Heart. This is my favorite. If you still purchase or purchase from Close to My Heart, I don't know. Um, what you do, um, definitely get some of this. You know what? I don't like ducking down and talk to you guys. Ay, still cutting off. You know what I need to do? Sorry, guys. I should have done this live. That would have been fun. <laughs> Is how about there? And then I'm in a horrible way with all the shadows, but that's okay. Um, this is the best cardstock. I love this card. I love the color of it. I don't like the name, but you know, I think I didn't pick something else maybe, but it's really great. It's just like a really soft cream beige. I just love it. 
And then there's Stark White. It's kind of a white daisy. I don't know if they still call it white daisy or daisy or something like that. But anyhow, this is Splendor Paper Pack. Oh, this is one of the very first packs I ever bought from them. And I think it's when I signed up the first time. And I kept signing up, don't sign up, sign up. You know, I keep going back and forth. But uh, this is Cherry O. Oh, and it even has stickers in here and everything. And then I think this is more paper that kind of goes with it. Yeah, the Cherry O Paper Pack. Ay, ay, ay. See, this is why it's just too many. I was going to say, I hate putting these out in the garage because I want to use them. But maybe whenever I do the scrapbooking, I tell you guys, maybe I'll do more scrapbooking. What I'll do is La Bella V. Oh, these are so pretty. Um, is go out and then p select, you know, a paper pack, and that's what I'm going to use. Uh, just kind of busting it out and all that kind of stuff. But there's just too much in here. I can't keep this here. <laughs> like, I would love to and then get to it at some time, but I'm just not getting to it. And then I'm going to... It's just not uh, doable. And in the meantime, I'm running out of space for other things, right? Review stuff and stuff I'm picking up, of course stuff we're picking up. <laughs> um, I have Superhero. So this is cool paper. Look at it. So cool. It's like comic booky. You know, this one's more like a boy type. So I'll probably just get out all of these things. Oh, you know, I used this one time for a Disney um, card, I remember, or kind of mini album, because uh, the design of it kind of reminds you very much Disney. It was like a Toy Story with Woody. Um, this is Splendor. It's more of that. But, you know, just gorgeous papers, Christmas papers. So I'm going to have to do like I said, I'll put them in a tub. I think in the tub I'll have dividers. Check this out. It's a whole card kit. So this is the kind of thing, like, I have to decide what I'm going to do. Do I want to take these stamps out, put those with the other Close to My Heart stamps that I have, keep them in paper packs because it's a workshop and it has to do with each other. Ay, ay, ay. There's a lot going on here, guys. And then, you know, I shove things in here like, these are for Miranda. I don't know why they're in here. This can be trash. Um, and then also I need to de-stash too. Like I said, I would never get rid of these papers, but if I find duplicates, that's a good thing to de-stash, right? Um, there's a whole thing going on in here. Like I started working on it and then I just did not finish it. Cause I can see that. Huh. That might be something I need to pick through and see if it's even worth keeping the stuff I started. Uh, Magnifique paper. Oh, this is one of my favorites. It's so cute. The Hooligans paper is like a, um, Halloween paper. And then it has the cute little stamp set and uh, like all these little accessory pieces. That's why you do is bring those out and put those so I use them, you know. A lot of these things on the front are just like little charm pieces. I say charm pieces, but they're like chipboard and stuff like that. Again, uh, more Christmas paper. Well, this one's a whole kit on making cute little things. Look who's your Valentine. I am going to put this out here and use that <laughs> very timely. Uh, scholastic paper. Now this is starting to fall in on me. This is a whole workshop too. Pretty much every, look, here's a duplicate. And I'll say this is probably a workshop. Again, it has the stickers and then the stamps that are in the workshops are particular to just that workshop. Like you can't just pick them up on their own. And now that they're done, you can't pick them up anyway, period. So I'm gonna put these card stocks. So I'll use those. Why is there a stack of bags in here? I don't know, why not? Beautiful, gorgeous bags that I'll have to use for something. Okay, I'm kind of over this box. I can kind of see what's going on here. Oh, this is um, a set of stuff from a, um, a scrapbook expo convention. Be very careful here. These are metal sheets, thin metal sheets. That was all over the rage. And this is coming back to where we would die cut them and stuff. And of course, I didn't want to throw anything away. So I would just bring the scraps with me. But we made this thing that holds a card. I think it was like a card pack or something. I don't really remember what this is. But it's pretty. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me see what's in here. Yeah, it was like, you're supposed to decorate these basically, but they're like a bunch of chipboard pieces, like postcard type things. It was just to learn some techniques, you know. So that needs to go somewhere else. This is also from Scrapbook Expo, I'm sure it was probably a kit that was like a super great price, so I picked it up. But things like this, I'm always like, oh, I'll make this for my mom, you know, I'll put just pictures in it, just pop them in. This is all SEI. I love the club SEI. I don't know if they still do it, but they have a really nice club. If your SEI still does a club, I recommend it. Um, there's that one. Dina Designs Clear Scrapbook Kit. What is this? Papers that are already cut down and stuff. So again, things like this are the kind of things I like to de-stash, um, just in case. Um... And scraps of paper that could probably just be thrown away. Okay, I think this one's all pretty much paper after that. So let me move these things into the box and then I'll move on to another box. I'm going through this. Look at 
this. I found a little one where I did the whole page. And again, that Cherry-O, but there's Matt and little Dorian. And Diego holding Dorian, maybe it was his birthday or something. Look at that. So cute. Okay, guys, I got my son making his lunch over there, so you might hear some errant noises. Is that the word, errant? <laughs> I think that. Okay, so here's the next one. Um, that last one had some treasures in there, so I was really happy to find those um, uh, Anna Griffin mink pieces. And this one, right on top, we have the You Are Here Cricut set. I'm going to have to keep this together, I think. I don't really need the papers for everything, but it's okay. I'm going to keep that all together. The other thing I found from that, I thought, oh, I guess I could de-stash these is chipboard pieces, but they're the chipboard pieces that go back to the Cricut <laughs> set. So I'm like, okay, I'm just going to keep those. Um, haven't, I'm kind of striking out on de-stashing here. <laughs> I heart us coordinating paper. So that's just more cardstock. It's plain colors. So I'll put that with the colored cardstock. Again, a workshop kit. A regular, oh, this is one of the last kind of things I picked up. I think the last time I really shopped with them or was doing the close to my heart thing was in Poway. So just cute, a couple years ago, but um, really pretty paper. So I'll put that over here. Workshops are over here. I'm still not sure what I want to do with workshops and paper, so I'm keeping them kind of separate for now. Yeah, look at that. It's such a cute little set. Glitter paper in there, I can feel. Oh, one scoop at a time. Adorable. I don't know that I would ever get back into the close my heart thing. I think also whenever you sell it, they want you to just do their program, which is fine. But like with affiliates and all these other things, I don't know how that works, you know? And most of the time, whenever somebody had a channel, it was basically focused on that one brand, you know? So I don't know. Now we're getting into, looks like just regular paper. So that's good, I suppose. There's still more workshop papers. This is just like the smallest amount of ribbon. Put that there. <laughs> Some extra stuff from close to my heart. Not close to my heart, Crafter's Companion. Why is this one empty? This is not good here. Okay, I was gonna say, this is not good. All right, I need to put those away and put that somewhere else. Little origami paper. Uh, a card making kit. Oh, this is a dome card making kit. I'm gonna put that somewhere else. It doesn't belong here. I'm gonna go through all of these papers and decide if I need to keep these die cuts with a view papers, but look how cute these are. I like the little shapes and the little circle. This is great for like scrapbooking because it's already cut in pieces. You can just put this on a 12 by 12 and you already have like a mat. So that's not bad. So I'm gonna have to go through each one and really think about what I wanna do. There's lots of just papers in here, which I don't mind keeping. Like I don't mind keeping one of these just with papers, but I'm kind of over having all these cards, like these things, paper packs, to be honest. Um, there's just too many of them <laughs> and I hardly ever think oh let me go get this paper pack other than what the country road one from Hobby Lobby and like Kirby what is that one called Kirby or Kirkaby or something I like that one a lot too um again I would never get rid of like this one but it can go on my bookcase I do have room for some more scrapbook paper over there so I would keep these like Frozen Disney because they're super cute but um and I picked them out Specifically for Miranda and then our Disney scrapbooking. These other ones, you know, they're just kind of more basic. Like this is very cute. Oh, it's crepe paper. But I don't need all of this paper, so that can go in the stash. This one was really cute. All dolled up stack. And I know people say some of these aren't available anymore, so to be careful, like to just get rid of them or to de-stash them, because a lot of people will like scalp them <laughs> or whatever. But I'm like, you know what? That's fine. I rather just think I'm doing something good and <laughs> whatever happens after that is not a big deal. This is pretty cute though. Maybe Miranda will have fun with this. All right, maybe Miranda can use that and do whatever she wants with it. I won't, I won't trip. Oh, this was such a pretty piece of paper. See, one piece and it's all crinkled in the middle now. Oh well. All right, so I'm gonna go through these things. It looks like these are all girly. This is the one, Kirby Teasdale. I already have one, so this is the second one. <laughs> but like I said, I really like this paper, so I will put it with its mate. <laughs> so this little twin, Olivia's Sweet Shop. Oh, Field Notes is gorgeous. I love SEI Field Notes. So pretty. I know, I'm sorry if you can't see everything particularly well, but this is a gorgeous paper pack. They're all gorgeous paper packs, but you know, gotta make choices. Uh, recollections paper, Lady Couture stack. I remember making a mini album from that one and also from this uh, lemon flower stack. Really pretty. It's like yellows and greens, kind of citrusy. All right, let me finish going through this and I'll find another one. All right, 
box number three. <laughs> what do we got on top? Ooh. Aw, oh, Disney Cruise. Never go on a cruise again. But <laughs> Look at Miranda. was only like three or four months old. And I had no hair. Look at that. And that's my mom and Diego and Dorian and, of course, Matt. So that was fun. That was a little Bahamas cruise. Lots of felt. I have lots of felt other places. That's probably a good de stash item. I don't know what's going on here. A little cross stitch book. Okay, so these kind of things <laughs> always freak me out because there's templates. Oh, you know what? This is all templates, actually. So that's not bad. Good thing I have them in here. Oh, look at this one. Makes the berry box. I think I've got most of these from like HSN or QVC. That is really cute, actually. Oh, I think I found another busted out, you guys. I'll put this over here. Tons of templates. Okay, more papers. Many more papers and workshops and God knows what. Let me put this over here. Again, paper packs. I'm keeping separate from just regular paper. I can use that up and then think about what I want to do. Tommy. This one's called Tommy. <laughs> it's chipboard pieces. And again, a, you know, a stamp set that's particular just to that kit. That's the only way you would have got them. Um, okay, Buzz. Oh, Buzz and Bumble so cute. So I have the paper with the workshop, so I think I'll keep those together. That way, when I use them, I know I have more paper. Again, whenever I got workshops, I would try to get the paper that goes along with it. And this is a ton. This is probably a party pack of paper, because there's a lot in here. And then, um, Chantilly it was called. Oh. Okay, these look like all paper packs, so I'm not going to bore you all with that. I mean, it's good stuff. <laughs> but I will uh, be back once I've gone through this. Okay. Is I'm towards the end, and I wasn't really looking to destash. I mean, I wanted to destash some things, but I was looking to reorganize, right? And I found these at the end. Look at this. Oh, these are so cool. Well, this is actually inserts for um, scrapbook books, but um, look at these things. I love it. I think I got them at an expo. I remember just being some that were thrown in there, but um, big old huge thing. So I'm going to use those for sure. And then I saw these in the same tub and I'm like, what is this one? Oh, you know what? These went together and then I can see that they're in here. So this is like um, Project Life, but for uh, close to my heart. And this is awesome because I told you guys I want to start doing scrapbooking. So I think this is a good way to get back into it. Just kind of quickly putting something together, maybe doing a little stamping, maybe adding like a little flower here and there, but just easily getting back into it. I have tons of Project Life stuff because I always buy it when it's on clearance, like at Michael's. And then I never would do anything with it. Sorry, there's a lot going on in my house right now and my husband coughing, <laughs> clearing his throat. <laughs> um, so yes, yeah, so that's great. I'm really happy about that. And then, oh, look at these. Oh, look at these little bows. How cute are those? They're like little tiny paper bows. Well, not paper, but like, um, I, I, they're backwards. Sorry, guys. I can see them on the side. They're uh, uh, still bows, but the way they're made, I think you can copy that pretty easily. That is so cute. Anyway, okay, um, let's keep working. Okay, oh my gosh, guys, this one was packed. All kinds of things fell off the top and fell backwards. So again, cardstock that I'll put with my cardstock. This is, oh my gosh, look at this. <laughs> this kit has four ink pads in here. And to be honest, if I have these color ink pads, these are a really great de-stash because the inks never run out. I'm telling you, close to my heart's ink pads are like ridiculous. I know I have blush and blossom. I don't know if I have bashful, but Look how pretty. Oh, I'm gonna put these on here and I'll check if I don't have already those colors, I'll de or if I do have, I'll de-stash those. I have no idea why there's so many colors in there and it's a bunch of twine. That's all super cute. I think that's when the color Bashful came out because it was like the color of the year or the new color or something. Um, watercolor card bases, some little cheap bottles from the Dollar Tree, some recollections or something. Trim. I don't know. Okay, now I'm getting tired. This is the fourth box I think I'm going to be done for today. And then I'll tackle some other things because what happens is I basically cleared out three of them. One of them is still going to have some stuff like whatever is in here I'll put in there that I want to keep. But everything else cleared out, so that's great. Um, again, just paper pack. Oh, but this is the kind of paper pack that would work with that kind of scrapbooking. So I'll keep those together. Another card kit. What is in here? <laughs> oh, I know what's in here. <laughs> it's my little um, carvings, the little stamps that I made by hand, right? So I will put those somewhere else. Um, again, it's the Cricut. Did I even open this? It looks like I didn't open it. Artistry. 
I must have opened this. That can't be possible. I like this kit. Like, I love this one, so that's kind of weird. I wonder if I have two of them. Look at the little Polaroid. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, I'm gonna put this. I don't put those out. I'm gonna keep them here. So, so this is the kind of thing I used to do back in the day. All the little scraps that, when, that are left over from scrapbooking. So there's a bunch of papers in here that are just scraps of paper. And this is how small I used to keep it. Right now I have a whole tub right next to me right now that's just full of scraps of paper. So I need to go through them too and be real. Like, do I really need to keep every scrap of paper? So I'll put those all together. Tons of papers. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at this. So what's funny about these little tiny stamps is I think these are rubbernecker. Um, they're just a company that does stuff with the expos. And I don't know if you can see, they're the tiniest little tiny stamps. And you make like a little bushel basket you know, with all the little apples in there or whatever it is that you have. And they're so tiny and cute. Oh my gosh, I need to put those somewhere else. Okay, guys, I think this is it for this video. Thank you for being patient. I know people want to know when I'm going to de-stash stuff in my store envy. I will do that. I'll let you know. It's not going to be today. <laughs> I'm going to finish this up and obviously find other things that we need to de-stash. So I'll let you guys know, though, but coming up very soon. Thanks for watching. I have a lot of work. All right. <laughs> Bye now. I'll see you at the next one.